Police outside and security guards inside Christie's were acquired by the Ageless Diamond Exhibition. On view at the famous place to raise money for the National Playing Fields and the Children's Holiday Fund were gems whose estimated worth totaled five millions. One exhibit said to have precipitated the French Revolution was the diamond necklace purchased for Marie Antoinette. Also worn by their tragic queen was this diadem of rose-cut diamonds composed of nine graduated flower sprays. Watchful guards eyed every stone in the place. Also originating in France, a large flat diamond enclosing a miniature painting. The Eureka diamond changed the fate of South Africa. A 16-year-old boy found a glistening pebble. Van Niekerk, the Orange River neighbour to whom he took it, sold it for a few pounds. The diamond rush began, Kimberley was born. South Africa produces practically all the diamonds now mined. What an amazing beginning for one of the biggest international industries. Kimberley's importance today is far in excess of its size. It has fewer than 60,000 inhabitants, but Africans flock to it to work for the diamond companies. Hereabouts, the earth has fabulous deposits of the gems every woman covets. The diamonds, which are a girl's best friend, have an unromantic and dull look as they come with the clay, either close to the surface or from the deep mines. The stones have to be cut and polished in Europe before they're fit to adorn their fortunate and often envied wearer. At the workings, the Negroes line up to have their findings assessed. In the background stands a little fella, just in case there's an argument. That's the background. Now, back to Christie's, starting with a 10.3 carat pink cushion-shaped diamond mounted as a ring. Two models wore stones worth a million and a quarter pounds. The diamond tiara was lent by the Marcus of Anglesey. The Nepal diamond is one of the largest gems in the world. Never have so many famous stones and diamond ornaments been on view at one time. Very well guarded was the Queen's collection, which included a tiara presented to Queen Alexandra on her silver wedding. The brooch here consists of the third and fourth parts of the Cullinan diamond, which before being divided was as big as a man's fist. Conspicuous was the Queen Mother's garter star. The diamonds were presented by South Africa to the late king 12 years ago.